It makes me feel good to make other people feel good. If you do it correctly and you do it with your heart and you're passionate about it, it's a very rewarding business. The biggest thing that stands out is the ability to help people. I'm glad that I was given the ability to come into funeral service. We have a very close tie to the community and we understand and we realize and appreciate that responsibility. The New High Paul Funeral Home was established in 1956. I am uh, the owner, which I'm very proud of, coming from a civil servant family of police officers and nurses. We have the opportunity as police officers to retire fairly young. I wanted to pursue a second career. And I started out as a pallbearer, and the gentleman that I was working for at the time thought that I would be good at this business, uh, caring for people. So when the opportunity arose to acquire the business, I did some research. I found this bank online called Live Oak Bank. Without their help and guidance, I don't think we'd be sitting here today. The first McBride to own their own business. So I'm very pleased and blessed. We have three children. Michael, as I mentioned, was born in 1990. Patrick came along in 1993, and Katie, of course, 1996. We lost Katie on March 1st, uh, 2008, uh, to Burkitt's lymphoma. She fought a terrible, terrible battle with this cancer. I think it was about a year after I started to sense that Katie's memory was starting to slip away. So in an effort to maybe just keep her name and her memory alive, we established the Katie McBride Foundation. Katie's Run, that was our first event that we started. Our first year, I think we had about 300 uh, registrants and about 250 finishers. Ten years later, we have over a thousand pre-registered. We have so much support from the large number of people that come to volunteer to make it so successful. Mike's, you know, he's got a heart of gold, you know, he's the salt of the earth. After he lost Katie, everybody just, you know, came up to that and stepped up to the plate and said, you know what, you know, we want to continue that legacy and continue, you know, what he's doing for the community. Weather today, of course, is uh, flat and fast. One hour till race time. How you doing, Doc? Everything good? One of my favorite parts of the day in the morning before the start of the race is meeting people that I don't know. I'm Mike. Hi, Brooke. Brooke, pleasure to meet you. You're not from New York. Okay. I don't know, I don't know what gave you away. It's great because they get to know Katie, and that's what it's all about. Good morning, good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. The rest is from Mike McBride and his wife, Jean. None of us would be here right now. What a great tribute to the, to the prize, right? Really just And the home of the brave. And the home of the We just thought it would be a good community event where we could have uh, local organizations that we're familiar with through the funeral home, and that turned out to be true. People come to our events because it's kind of like a feel-good experience. It's a great day. There's so many smiling faces. And then we have a wonderful uh, award ceremony. My favorite part of the day is the children's run where they get to Across the finish line after our older runners come through. We have a very close tie to the community and we understand and we realize and appreciate that responsibility that when the time comes we're here to serve the families that need to be serviced. Mike and Jean just know how to make it a little bit easier um, just by their love and support not only because they went through it but they really really know how to make those special touches uh, to touch everybody's lives. I'm sure Katie is very pleased with what we've been able to do. People leave here happy. They feel like they made a difference. 
And that's really important to us, that people leave uh, feeling that they were part of something very special, and Katie's very special to us.